Hey guys, and welcome back to, I was going to say Frontlines then, Resistance, Fall of Man. When we last left off, we were skulking through the conversion center, finding out what's actually going on behind the curtain. And, well, it's grim. It's very grim. However, we did find a new friend, Palmer. Gribbly. Very gribbly stuff indeed. Okay, well, oh god, that that, <laughs> that frame rate though. Oof. Anyway, let's go. Let's see what we can find. Probably nothing. Oh, nothing nice. I was gonna say. Yeah, certainly. Uh, plenty of these guys. The trouble is, every one of these we put in the ground, ten more apparently crawl out of the vats. Ugh, it's like the Soviets in um, Red Alert with their cloning vats. Remember, you could just pump out conscripts like nothing. Ah, Red Alert. What a game. Careful now. Ah, oh, jeez. Jeez. Oh, we got hedgehogs. Pineapples. Ooh, skill point acquired. Acupuncture is cheaper. Um, okay. Let's just have a look at these skill points. Ah, yes, because of course this game was before PlayStation had its trophies. Reading is fun. Chicks dig eye strain. Too many secrets. In for a penny. Kill three chimera with a single grenade. Fetch. Why are these candles screaming? Okay. Supersonic meat cubes. Hmm. This is my rifle. This is my gun. I'm pretty sure. I actually don't know how we... Um... Get most of these. Ah. Well, I mean, that's... It's kind of cool, I suppose, to have skill points. Yeah, the achievement system kind of took everybody a little bit off guard, didn't it? It was such an awesome idea. Now, obviously, some people love achievements and trophies. Other people don't really care. I'm actually... Uh, I'm quite a fan. Some of them are a little bit obnoxiously difficult. But, you know, uh, that's kind of the point. I guess. Now, early on in the achievements uh, life cycle, if you will, some of them were pretty bad. Like, kill 50 enemies with a handgun. Kill 100 enemies with a handgun. Kill 200 enemies with a handgun. And that was terrible. Um, they got significantly better. And now most trophies and achievements are basically identical. Evening, gentlemen. Evening, evening. Nice to meet you. Yeah, unfortunately with the hedgehog, you have to you have to have it go off pretty much next to an enemy to cause critical damage. Very short range on them. I think they got better in later games. Potentially. Either or. Not. Scrap those guys. Well, yeah, explosions seem to have a really short radius in this game. Which is unfortunate. Come on, sweet cheeks. There we go. Go for critical damage. So we've got full health. But you can see what I mean by this difficulty is really easy. Uh, sadly, the harder difficulties, or the harder difficulty is just savage. Oh, hello. Nice to see a couple of uh, strapping fellows charging us like madmen. It looks like he's lost some wiring. Hopefully he doesn't need that for anything later on. Oof. Look at these cocoons. Yeah, I don't want to be a cocoon. Human's are wrapped in cocoons. 
This accelerates the final stages of the conversion. What emerges from the cocoon is determined by the strain of the virus. Each Chimeran creature is created by a separate strain. What we call hybrids, the ones that most closely resemble humans, have the shortest gestation period. The more beasty creatures take months to create and are made from multiple human bodies. Mm. So they use the raw genetic mass, I guess, to create their creatures. We need to nuke this plant. We really do need to nuke this plant. If we have any chance of taking this, uh, this planet back. But uh, considering they can just infect loads of people, those bugs, yeah, I'm not really sure how they're going to do that. Nuke it from all a bit, I suppose. I don't think we have the technological ability to do that either. I guess, you know, back in the 50s, um, you know, obviously alternate 50s, the only thing you could really do is uh, get into a nuke fight with these guys. But then, can you really call that a victory? I guess nuking um, the entirety of the EU uh, <laughs> to preserve humanity probably a worthy trade-off I mean if the EU is completely dead anyway that might be the only chance you have but who knows maybe they will fight fight back and start winning I actually can't remember where the storyline goes with this game I can't remember like whether all the resistance games actually finish the story off oh look all these meat sacks Got a checkpoint. Yeah, I remember as well. Like, I really wish, like, kind of like in Gears of War 4 and 5, I really wish we could blast these pods open, but you can't. All of those soldiers could potentially just spawn. into more soldiers for the enemy but we're not allowed to slice them up and I know it's a video game those pods are never going to become more soldiers and all the rest of it but I like to pretend man got my active imagination right this is going poorly you would have thought the high ground would have the advantage but maybe not what is this weird technology they've got going on here oh some fortunate fellows had a bit of a bad time. I see that. Distraction ta tactics. Yeah, some of the ragdoll physics in this game are quite funny. But that was the style of the time with ragdoll physics. As cool as they were, um, they, they rarely added to the immersion, shall we say. I mean, even physics these days in games aren't exactly brilliant. They're getting better. They're getting significantly better, but... Ooh, hello. I think that dude's stuck on the scenery, which is fine. That works for us. I think we got him. Nope. Son of a bitch. Some of these guys, honestly. Whoa! Oh, hello! Didn't even see him there. Because the color palette all blends into the same old kind of gray and brown. Of course, this was the generation of gray and brown. That's kind of uh, what what the 360 and PS3 are kind of known for. Grey, brown, and insane levels of bloom. Now these little energy ball things seem to be powering a lot of their technology. So it's probably worth destroying as much of these as possible. Although I don't think we have any achievements or anything for it. Ooh, hello. 
Little sneaky son of a bitch. Yeah, interesting. I remember that shotgun being really cool. But I guess I remember wrong. <laughs> nice. Ooh. I mean, he's having a bit of a time of it, wasn't he? Clip that, I think. Oof. We're actually out of ammo. Shotgun, I guess. Is the choice which Ooh, thank you. Scary. Almost had to use another weapon then. <sighs> Almost. Yeah, and Insomniac don't really have any excuses for not making decent fun weapons either, because Ratchet and Clank, hello. Ratchet and Clank, like, one of the best franchises ever, in my humble opinion. Have some delightfully delicious weapons. Maybe it was a different team that made this, I don't know. Let's go flick the shit switch. I actually remember quite a bit of this. Interestingly enough. So I guess it's still stuck in my brain somewhere. Oh god, not what I wanted to do. Definitely not what I wanted to do. Oh, that is an awful button. Awful button to change weapons. Like why? Who picked up a controller and said, yeah, that's good. That that's good. Probably someone who'd never used a controller before. That would be my guess. I can't ooh, I can't remember if the controls actually changed much. Ooh. Oh, that is a really shit shotgun. Oh, it's terrible. Oh, it's awful. <laughs> Stick with this. It almost feels like it's this was like a budget kind of release. But I suppose it was... I suppose it was um, competitive with most games at the time. I mean... Oh, God. We've got, we've got haze to get into. Ah... Uh, Man, I've been burning that one off for nearly 20 years. Haze. Ugh. The game from Free Radical, the guys that made Time Splitters, that was touted as the, the, the next big thing. It was like the super Halo killer. God, Sony liked, liked the sound of that one, didn't it? Halo killer. In the case of hybrids, a cooling apparatus is fused into their bodies. The Chimeran metabolism is roughly 12 times that of humans. Oof. This results in remarkable healing abilities, but also raises their body temperatures significantly. Without the cooling apparatus, the hybrids would overheat and die. So, they need to have giant heat exchangers on the back. Kind of a very cool, very interesting um, concept. So, they overheat quickly. Interesting. The potential weakness, although not sure how that could be exploited, to be fair. Now, also, if you have a really high metabolism, surely that means you require a lot of sustenance and food, but I don't know if they really cover that. I used to stand here for like ages watching this happening. Man, it's so cool. So where did all this technology come from though? I guess we're gonna find out. Is this like Russian technology? Nah. Couldn't have been this much more advanced. Chimera, were they alien? I honestly can't remember to be honest. 
I really can't remember. I'm kind of relearning the story as I go along. A fight on our hands? Well, we haven't had a fight on our hands so far, have we? Fool. We haven't stopped fighting since we woke up. Well, since we arrived in the UK. Now, this is cool. Cornish fresh squid. Dover sole, sea bass. Uh, honk. Oh no, it's got to be monkfish, swordfish, halibut, lemon sole. The very best fish. Ugh, you won't find me in there then. Um, right, Cornish, eh? We're in Cornwall recording this right now. Oh, hello. How accurate of a pub is this? Not really. So we've got another shotgun. Certainly is a bizarre layout for a pub. I don't know. Guess that's some kind of vending machine. That's got to be a cigarette machine. Old school. So they even have like levitation or at least, you know, they have mastered some kind of Um, magnetic control? It's interesting. And obviously they have energy weapons. So these, these Chimerans, they're advanced. They're very advanced. I think that's what was really kind of like drawing me to them as an enemy, is their technology. It was so interesting. Oh, hi guys. And obviously we've still got these primitive, you know, gunpowder weapons. Chemical weapons, if you will. Not the fun chemical weapons. Oh, didn't even see you there. This is a cool little harbour area, actually. I am a fan. I'm not sure why they've got just these containers full of these energy balls. I guess that's how they store them. Oh, this is going to be bad. This is, yep. <laughs> that's going to get worse before it gets better. Sloppy ass aiming. Now, where technically are we? Are we still in Grimsby? Yeah, we're still in Grimsby. Ah, so I haven't got the uh, information in Manchester yet. Okay. I guess my original PlayStation account that I made when I first got my PlayStation 4, uh, PlayStation 3, I guess I didn't have that. Actually, thinking about it, I don't think I do. Pretty sure I created a, a fresh account when I got my PlayStation 4. Possibly. I can't remember now. Oof. Yeah, those 40... Yeah, even like like the 40 mil grenades and stuff. There's just... There's no pop to any of the explosions or anything. Like... I think that's one way to describe it, is the combat and the weapons and just... Everything feels so flat. Nothing is uh, visceral. Okay. As I said, I'm pretty sure they really did change that up. In the later games. Even the sound effects of the weapons, as I've said before, it just sounds really dull. Nice. 
Ooh, that guy's got a bit of an arsehole to him. Let's get that bit of health regen. There we go. Ooh, he was rushing me. He was rushing. Ooh. Hello. You see him hiding behind the uh, conveyor belt set. Ooh, Jesus. He got blasted into next week. Sayonara, fucker. Okay. Nice bit of health. Lovely. I don't like it, Chief. It's too quiet. Ooh. Yeah, these guys look like they had very painful, miserable demises. Very painful, miserable demises. <clears throat> so anyway, whilst we're looking up and trying to work out where to go from here, let's... Ah. Huh. Can we smash any of this open? Kind of looks like we can, but no. Let's have a quick look at the enemies that we've come up against so far. So, hybrids. Hybrids are the foot soldiers of the Chimeran army. They are sav a savage enemy. Also keen and tenacious, hybrids quickly learn the methods of their adversaries. They already display uh, expertise in British army tactics. Beyond their adaptive nature, the most obvious attribute of the hybrids is their sheer numbers. Hybrids have overwhelmed humans on every battlefield since Chimeran invasion first reached Britain. I love those drawings as well. And we've got the crawlers. Crawlers are small beetle-like creatures used to spread the Chimeran infection. Although capable of limited flight, they are most often delivered by spire missiles. Upon finding victims, crawlers penetrate their bodies, usually through the mouth and nose. They inject the Chimeran virus quick and quickly expire. The infected host falls into a coma as the virus begins the uh, inexorable conversion of the host into a Chimeran creature. And we've got these little leapers. Crawlers which fail to infect a host will eventually evolve into a leaper. Ah, they first seek out sustenance such as a such as human or animal corpse. Once they've gorged themselves, they develop a protective pupae, a leaper pod. They then spawn from their pods uh, upon uh, maturation. The voracious young leapers attack opponents with teeth and claws. They should be dealt with at range whenever possible. Easily handled individually. Leapers are lethal in large range. That's kind of an interesting concept. So if the little bugs fail to get anything, and it also um, explains how they evolve from a small bug type thing into a significantly larger creature by consuming biomass. Hmm, menial. Unlike other Chimera intended for combat, the menial strain is bred into a tool for basic labour. Menials will generally ignore other Chimera as they mindlessly handle their duties. Seldom encountered in combat, they are unarmed and appear sluggish and non-aggressive. However, like all Chimera, menials are unpredictable. They should be considered dangerous, especially when cornered. Once delivered to conversion centers, Chimera infection victims are enveloped in cocoons. Within each cocoon, a human body is broken down and recombined into a strain of Chimera. It is theorized that multiple human bodies are required for the larger strains. External measures must be taken to keep the cocoons from overheating. This outside intervention suggests the conversion process is not being performed in ideal circumstances. It is unknown if there are is a more natural way for the Chimera to reproduce. And carriers. Carriers collect infected humans from the battlefield after a crawler attack. They ferry their catch to the nearest conversion center. As these infected bodies are also the carrier's food source, not all of them survive to be converted. Early in Chimeran invasion of Britain, carriers formed caravans hundreds of miles long it is unknown if the carriers have found a new role now that fewer victims are available for conversion. They probably got broken down and had their biomass restructured into something else, I guess. 
Hmm, interesting. I like it. See, I like it. I really like it. It's just we need more. The universe and everything they built is really interesting. So let's keep going. I guess we're going to go down here next. Yes. Question mark. Nice. Got some frags. Not sure. How we switch our grenades. No idea. But then we might not have any extra grenades to switch to. I like the atmosphere. You can still hear the seagulls. But yeah, so they explained that the chimeras do actually indeed eat. Ooh, callers. They do need to consume flesh. Maybe we shouldn't have blown those energy balls up. Well, that's okay. Surely there would be, if you see how many bugs there are, there would be hundreds of thousands of these things. But then I suppose that all depends whether they can find enough corpses to eat. Oof. Always overthinking these games. But then if a game doesn't make sense to me, if it's trying to be semi-serious, as much as I try to ignore the fact that it's a video game, and a work of fiction most of the time, I do like it when it kind of makes sense in my brain. <clears throat> and this game, I mean, yeah, it does. It's not one of those uh, games that's really kind of bizarre. And feels kind of huggled or hubbled together. Well, how did you get out then? Was you being super sneaky? I guess she was being super sneaky. Oh. Wait. Yeah, they've got like giant alien motherships as well. Man, these guys are advanced. No wonder our kind of like pitiful little craft were eaten alive. Let's get that grenade out there. Definitely sounded like it hurt something. Right. Hello. I did think these guys might actually try and assault and attack me a little bit more, but they're pretty good at holding. I guess they know that you have to go to them if you want results. Which certainly seems to be the case. Alright, hot potato. Damn these grizzly bastards. What would be cool if you could blow these guys to pieces? This is one of the oh that that grenade I mean that little pop from that grenade. Come on. I mean honestly, was that a dud or what? Nice. They do appear to be trying to circle round. Which is quite cool. Oof. This is a target rich environment. Very target rich environment. Just gonna keep using Oh hello. That was naughty. That was very naughty, guys. I don't see any need for that kind of hostility. Jeez. rough. It's okay, we're just going to keep taking pot shots. This health bar is really efficient. 
Yeah, considering, as I said, on the harder difficulties, you really can only take a handful of shots before it's game over, man. Now, the alt fire for this is you can fire both barrels at once. Which sounds good, but, I mean, eh. It's kind of lame. Again, it comes down to the lack of any kind of punch. It feels like, you know when you're a kid and you get these party poppers? It feels like that. 37 rounds left. Not fantastic. Maybe we should have a look at the Killzone games at some point. Because I remember Killzone 2 being incredibly technically impressive. Might be worth seeing if that holds up. Again, kind of an interesting little story to it as well. Very interesting little story. Two warring factions with their own planet. You've got the obvious good guys and the obvious bad guys. And you know which one's which because one's red and one's blue. Yeah, I do remember Killzone 2 just like being absolutely gobsmacked at how good that game looked. Oof, they really are stuck in down there, aren't they? Now, I'm pretty sure... We can get up there somehow. We can get some gear and equipment. Oh, hi! This guy was obviously injured and weak, so they sent him out to scout. At least that's my head cannon anyway. Well, la unlucky for them. They've kind of left themselves intentionally defenseless. Must be intentionally defenseless, right? Must have been done intentionally. I mean, that was pretty useless of these guys. The beings with supposed super brains. Now, I don't know if there's some kind of, like, hive mind. If there's some big, fat, smart bug. I don't know, but I'm sure we're going to find it, and we're going to smash it. Or something. Oof. Looks like a crashed ship. I'm not really sure. Interesting. Oh, hi, guys. Really? You're going to grab the machine gun? That's kind of smart of you and kind of dumb of me, actually. We can't stay much longer. We can't or won't. Yeah, that was actually quite smart of the dude. And very silly of me to just wander into the gun turret uh, field of fire. Kind of interesting looking. They got like three barrels. Like, where does the ammunition come from? And am I thinking about that too much? Probably. Okay, so where's my boat out of here? I have no idea where my boat is. I guess that is it. Yeah, alright. Is this... Is, is this not the... I mean, kind of looks like that should be the evac boat. Is it not? Okay. Kind of seems like an obvious exit point. Oh. Right. Yes. I'm dumb. and summon a rescue. Flying into the Camaran territory was always dangerous, but we had to risk it. Hale made it out shortly after. I looked for any further signs of conversion. 
fever, nervous movement, paranoia. There was nothing. Just the gold-colored eyes. We flew directly to Manchester. Soldiers had been trying to recover the convoy ever since my squad was ambushed. They knew what was in it. They knew it was our last hope for defeating the Chimera. I wanted to take Hale back to Northern Command for debriefing. Maybe he could sense I was suspicious of him. He joined the Manchester squad before I could say a word. Man's eager for combat. A bit of a uh, bit of payback. Anyway, guys, that's going to have to do for now. When we come back, uh, looks like we're off to Manchester, eh? Well, I've never been to Manchester, so this is going to be fun. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.